What's going on, guys? Today is September 4th, 2024. It is Wednesday, and we have 58 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Uh, it is 9.04 a.m., and I've been having a little bit of trouble as far as releasing these videos filming this a little bit earlier i have got a little bit out of the routine and i need to get back on the routine the only thing is this um so i do not have uh my house cleaner anymore i'm cutting back on costs uh i can wash my own clothes uh I eat out most I eat out every day basically I have like a routine on everything that I eat from Monday through Sunday and it's all at the same places uh, it's kind of weird I am a creature of habitat and I generally go to the same places because I don't when I like something I don't like to think about what I'm going to eat. I don't like to think about things like that. I don't like, to, if, if you see me wear black shirts every single day or like active gear every single day, it's because I don't like to think about those things. I need to use my brain power for um, <laughs> things that are more worthy of my brain power, basically. So, uh, I eat the same thing, wear the same, you know, wear the same clothes. Uh, I, like I said, I don't have my housekeeper. I can wash my own clothes. So I've been, so cleaning my house and things like that. So I've been doing those things when I wake up in the morning and consequently I come here a little bit later. Last night, last night, I almost, last night I almost missed my daily upload the video was finished before i left here to go eat and it did not upload by the time i got back here because i went to the uh the sauna and the steam room and i went to swim last night and uh when i got back here it still had like seven like it still had like 25 percent to upload right and that upload was said like two hours or whatever and it's like nine o'clock like 10 o'clock or something like that right so luckily i got it uploaded the video aired at not at 11 53 okay i watched it however i had to take the video down because the video had a copyright uh, strike because when i was filming in the uh, the soccer game it was a song that was copyrighted and YouTube caught the copyright strike and um, YouTube caught the copyright caught the song gave me a copyright strike and the video is not monetized so what I just did first thing I did when I came in here is change the video I'm about to upload it and re-upload it now the streak is still on because I got that video posted yesterday at 11:53. Okay? So the streak is still on. Now, what I need to do is I need to start cutting and putting these videos into final cut much earlier in the day so this doesn't happen again, okay? Uh today I have another customer discovery meeting man like they say customer discovery doesn't stop it I, I guess it doesn't uh so i have that uh i have uh deep work on my deck deep work on marketing uh marketing um tactics that's not a, the word i'm looking for <laughs> marketing ideas whatever uh so yeah so i have that and look, like I said, it's already it's already 909. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Wednesday, middle of the week, but not really middle of the week, you know, because we work every day. But uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And um yeah, man. You guys have a good day. Peace.
important do you think the stories of athletes are, especially right now? I think it's important for you to be able to tell your story, right? No matter what. Mm -hmm. So I think it's extremely important for an athlete to be able to tell their story because you're more than your sport. You're more than what you play, right? My story is my story. This is me. A part of my story is me being a football player, um, playing in high school, playing in college, and playing some professional. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's that's my story, but that's that's a part of my story. But that's not who I am. Right. Right. So I think it's important for us to, you know, get to know that when when you get to know an athlete's story, you get to know the athlete. Mm -hmm. And he's no, he's not just a a thing over there. Right. Like you're not just QB one. Right. 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 You're a natural person, and, and 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 you have feelings. You you've gone through things. There's reasons why you respond the way you respond. Mm -hmm. You may put, you may be a linebacker and play lights out because something happened in your past, and you just it made you angry. Or you could love the war of the crowd and just that's why you're motivated to play, you know. But we don't know these things if we don't know the athlete. We don't know their story. Right. So with – okay, so now how important is it for athletes to capture their their sports journey with with you just saying that the athlete's story is – you know, is 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 very important. We agree. We agree on that. How important is it now to capture for the athlete to capture their their journey along the way? I think it's extremely important. If if it's important to the athlete, right? That's. I guess that's one of those questions. Like, is this important? to the athlete is telling my story important to me uh, right I can say I can say me as a player it was important to me to tell my story to come back to Niagara Falls where I'm from mm -hmm. and you know coach here and let the the youth know hey man I'm just like you you know I went to high school with James Starks. James Starks comes home and he talks to the youth all the time. Uh, Quadri Olson, a, a guy from Niagara Falls, New York, just, he, he went to Canisius High School. He just came back to Canisius and talked to the players and told his story, letting them know, hey man, I'm just like you, right? It's important for us to pour into our youth and to, uh, let them know they're not alone, right? I was where you were. I was in your shoes. I walked the same hallways you walked, and I, I lived on the same blocks that y'all lived on. Right. I made it. I'm a success story. You can make it too. Just got to make the right decisions and have good habits. Right. Court again. All right. Another customer discovery conversation meeting. Um, same thing, like with the guy that I just talked to, he played football at a high level, right? So, and he's, he's really, he was really good. As far as him wanting his journey, that's something he would have loved. He said that's, that, that would be invaluable. Now, as far as his son, he said he doesn't really capture, he captures some, but he's not like a capture maniac of, his, of the journey. What I believe is some people don't even know that this is needed. So to a point, he, like he doesn't know that it's needed, but then again, he knows that it's needed, if that makes sense. 
And um, if it was available, readily available, I think that he probably would use it more often because he does know how important it is to capture the journey and he also knows how important it is for athletes' stories, right? Uh, I think that was a successful uh, customer discovery meeting and I'm just, I'm trying not to drink my own Kool-Aid, you know, with this, you know, with this thing. And we discussed about Huddle as well. And like I said, I, like, I think Huddle has a completely different business model. How they make money is not on these athletes' profiles, you know, in the stories of athletes. So... I, like I said, it's two different things, but if you combine Instagram and Huddle and you combine GoFundMe and you make this dedicated place for athletes all in one, you have all dreams. And shit, 58 days can't come soon enough so we can actually start testing this thing and have people actually using this platform. He did say 120 per year or $9.99 per month, like a subscription model, something that people wouldn't miss, but it's, they know you know they know that their, their athletic journey is there. So that's confirmed, we're $74.99 right now, um, $120 per year. I think, we, I think you know, we start at this $74.99 and we can possibly raise the prices but we get our, our early adapters in at $74.99 to uh, create that traction. Uh, yeah, man, I, again, really, really, really think we have something. And we got a referral from him, so he's gonna give a referral. And uh, yeah, it is $7.53 here and um, Man, we still at it. So that's going to be the end of this video. And uh, see you guys tomorrow.